Good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. Back in the building, video DJ Dre. And this is my episode, my tutorial on how to become a DJ, the start off series, my beginners 101 series. If you didn't see the first episode, make sure you go back and check that one out. It's about how to hook up your equipment. It might seem trivial, but a lot of DJs, experienced DJs as well, do not know how to properly hook up their DJ equipment. And before you can do any of this, you got to know how to hook up your equipment. So make sure you go back to that episode. Check that out right after you watch this one. All right. Today, we're going to be talking about what software is the best to use. I'm here with my son, Dre the Ape, in the building, man. I'm teaching him how to DJ for the very first time. He's an MC. He's a producer and an engineer in the studio. But he want to get into the DJing game. So I decided to do this series teach him at the same time i can teach some of y'all beginning djs on how to dj so this episode is going to be about your software because before you start mixing and scratching and cutting and all that you need to figure out what kind of software you want to use so myself since i've been in the game for a minute i'm going to go over two different softwares that i think that's pretty good for beginning djs and professional djs and we're going to compare the two and i'm let my son see which one he likes after we go over this. So we're going to start with Serato. Serato, Serato. You know, a lot of people have been getting on me online about how I pronounce it. I don't know. That's my Philly slang. I'm just going to say it the way I've been saying it for the last 20 years. Serato. All right. Cut. Hey, Arnold, I'm hearing neighbor. It, it's neighbor. That's what I said. Neighbor. 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 Hey, let's go again. So Serato is going to be my number one program. That's my go-to program that I always use when I'm DJing. Also, there's a program out called DJ, Algorithms DJ. And you can run that on your iPad. You can run it off your phone. You can run it even on your computer if you want to download the actual computer program. We're going to go over both programs and see which one he thinks is best to start out with. So first, we're going to rock with Serato. All right. Now, as DJing, as you know, you got your two turntables. You got your two platters right here. Each platter is controlled by, seems simple, but this is for y'all beginners. You know, some of the veterans can learn a little something too. Each program is controlled by each deck. As you can see, as I move the deck on this side, that particular deck moves on the software. The cue points, one through eight are those cue points up there. Only two are set right now. That one and the second one is set. I'm going to just play this real quick. As you can see, as I hit the cue point on the software, the music starts over. And it responds, you know, on the software. Serato is an excellent program. It's very accurate for all y'all DJs out there, if you're a beginner or not. They got a pro version and they got a light version. So I definitely encourage y'all to get into the light version first before you get into the pro version. But the different things you can do with the pro version, pretty much like you can if you had a standalone system. You got your file list down here. If you have a controller right now, we're using the Rain 1. Let me change to my overhead view. We're using the Rain 1 today. The reason why I think it's good for beginning DJs to start out with a controller similar to this, which has spinning platters, because once you know how to manipulate sp spinning platters and get your rhythm and your timing right, you can always go back to the nine spinning spinning platter decks, you know, such as your Pioneers and so many of them out there. But if you can get your hands on some sp some spinning platters like these, then definitely I prefer you start with these. I wouldn't start with turntables, these on the outside. I wouldn't start with these. I would start with a controller because it's a lot simpler. Everything is tied into one. You got your mixer here in your middle. You got your two decks on the outside and it corresponds with your software. So with Serato, as I was saying, you got your music selection down here which links up to your controller. As you can see, I can scroll through my music. Then once I get to a song that I want to play, then I just hit the tap button and it'll play the song. Tap down on the button and it'll automatically go over to the deck and you have control over it automatically. Now Serato DJ got a whole lot of functions. 
you know, you got samples on Cerrito DJ. I don't have any loaded on here at the current moment, but let me see if I can drop a sample on here real quick. You're now in the barbershop mix. All right, that's a sample right DJ there. On the block. D -D 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 -J. All right, that's the that's what you call a sample. And on these controllers, you can hit different buttons on here to control your samples, or you can play your samples from right off the uh, con controller. So let me let me drag this sample over here to number one. On my deck here, as you can see, the sample button is lit up. As I press the sample, barbershop mix. You hear the sample go with the freshest DJ on the block. So that could be a sample, you know. This is how Cerrito DJ works it. You can drop all your samples in right here. You got up to eight samples you can drop. You got up to eight cue points you can drop. Now, I don't want to go through too much detail in it because this is for beginners, but this is some of the beginning stuff that you know a lot of DJs need to know about. All right, we back over to the program. Now, with most programs, all programs, you got hot cues on here. You got samples on here and the next most important thing we like to use is loops loops is when you loop a particular beat or a particular verse on serato dj the loop section is very easy right here on your controller or on your screen you can hit the loops i'm gonna hit it from the controller as soon as you hit the loop as you see on the screen it starts to loop that particular part down here these two buttons is where you can either shorten the loop make it shorter or you can make the loop long. These are these are used for different effects when you DJ. You might want to loop somebody's acapella. You might want to do a loop. You might want to do a loop for an intro to bring a song in. It's a lot of different reasons why you might want to bring in a loop. But that's three of the main functions of your DJ controller. Another function here, you got this big slider control. This right here is your pitch, your pitch blend control. This controls the tempo of your song, as you can see. As I go up, the song slows down. As I go down, it speeds up. You need this when you're matching up tempos with music. This record over here might be playing at a particular tempo. And I'll show you real quick. I'll bring in another beat song over here. Now, if I want to, if I want to get this particular song to match up with that one, see how my tempos are off right now? I'm at 89 and I'm at 90, so I'm gonna use my pitch to bring this back down to 89. So both of them are matched up. Now, if I use my cue point correctly, I should be able to start these songs on the same beat. One, two, three. Now they're pretty much on beat. Not sure if y'all can hear that. But that's the purpose of your pitch blends. And you can hear both songs are playing. You might have to speed, speed one of the decks up a little bit. But as you can hear, they're still playing. They're still playing pretty much in beat. Not the perfect songs to mix together, but as you get more experience DJing, you'll see what songs you prefer to mix together. Over here in the middle of your controller, you got what they call toggle switches. These toggle switches control different effects. Your effects are controlled through these two paddles on here and your effects section on here. As you can see on Cerrito, you can drop a lot of different effects in, echo, reverb, phaser, go across the board and control these effects with these buttons here one effect one effect two effect three are these effects one two and three on the other deck you got effects four five and six you can put those effects over here and control them with these knobs over here that's pretty much what the effects section does i'm trying to tell y'all this tell my son at the same time i'm gonna see if he can you know pick which one he prefers the best and also, Serato DJ has a video function. I don't have it videos on here right now, but as you can see, I click the video function. And if you was rocking videos on here, 
videos will pop up and you can shoot them out to another screen. So Serato so DJ got a lot of different effects to it. This is just a brief overview of the program. You got so many different things you can get into as you get more equipped with the program, as you get more advanced with the program. But when you're a beginning DJ, you want to try to start out with something. And I prefer Serato DJ. Now, I've also worked with another program that's called DJ Pro on your iPad. And we're going to get over here to this program. See if this is working. All right. Now we over here. Is that still recording? Mm -hmm. That's still recording. Yeah. Now we over here to my second best program that I've experimented with a lot, and that's called DJ on your iPad. You can use this on your phone. You can use it on an iPad Mini. You can use it on a desktop computer or a laptop as well. I particularly say that this program is a lot more advanced than Serato. It's more set up for beginners, more so than Serato is. Serato is, does have a light version, but this program is a lot more user friendly. It has a lot more different functions to it that I'm gonna just briefly go over real quick. Just like the Serato, you got your, you got your controller, your platters, you got your tempo controls over here. But what I like about you know using the iPad is is that you can actually it's it's a it's a touch touch screen. You can you can touch you can touch your screen and actually get different effects to work. You can tap and you can select your songs on here a lot easier than you can if you don't have a touch screen. This also has all the different effects. You got your echoes on here, your flanger. You know the same different effects and you control them the same way you would do over here with uh serato same thing and this also has video if you you don't even have to purchase video on this particular program it actually comes with video let me show you real quick you got four deck mode i didn't show you that over there as well serato pro does have four deck mode but if you're a beginning DJ, you really don't want to get into four deck modes. But you do have video on here as well. So that's the nice thing about this particular program. It actually comes with video. You don't have to purchase a video upgrade. And the videos work with the screen. As you can see, as I use the fader on here, the videos change on here. So whatever videos you got on your program, on your software, you know, you can rock them right up there as well. Another thing that this has that that's a, a, a big feature that I like has a lot of different screen views that you can tap on the fly and you can see a lot of stuff a lot better. That's a that's a different function that they do have. Another thing they got is what they call is the looper. This helps out a lot for beginning DJs. If you're not if you're in the middle of a transition of the song and you want to bring in like your own particular remix or something. You can hit this looper thing here, and as you can see, it'll start to make beats for you. Now, Serato don't have that, you know, and I, that's why I think this is a good advantage. You could be rocking a song, and it's going to beat match this exactly to the tempo of whatever song you're playing. And you can throw in the snare, and you can pretty much make your own beat right on the fly with this and switch it up. So that's one thing I like about this program. You know, your song might be running out and you might be at the end of your song and you got to throw on something real quick. This can kind of be a filler, you know, for that. So I really like that about this program. You can go to a different view and you can still see, you know, you can still see that looper, you know, in the background, you can still use it. There it go right there, just out of touch of a button. You got the looper in a different way. See how easy it is for me to change effects? Turn them on or off, or just turn them all off all together. So, Serato, not Serato, I'm sorry, Algorithms DJ is definitely a good program for beginners to use. Now, I'm going to ask my son, based on this quick, short, you know, this real quick, trying to introduce both programs to him real quick, not trying to take up too much time, which program would you prefer starting out as a DJ? Would you prefer... Serato, or would you prefer DJ by Algorithms?
Well, I will say I like both programs for different reasons. You did point out that this Algorithm DJ program has a lot of features, especially for people that like are on the go. Like you said, you can use this on your phone, your iPad, and a computer. Um, Serato doesn't seem to have a mobile version that you could just be on the go with. Nah, they don't have that mobile version, exactly. Um, as well as, like he just showed you with the filler section that he just showed you with effects, you can kind of try to drop some fly beats in the mix. So while, you know, waiting on the next song to transition, if you, you know, couldn't find a song in time. So things like that definitely give me more of a lean towards this DJ program. But I like Serato simply because of its format and you know, it kind of pairs well with a lot of equipment that I know we already have as well. But for a beginner, I would I would say I'll be leaning towards this one over here with the DJ. Okay, so y'all hear that? You hear that DJ too? If y'all out there listening, you know, for beginning DJs, they 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 like to steer towards your program. I know a lot of the older professionals in the business. You know, they gravitate more towards Serato, but DJ is a powerful program to use, and he gravitated towards that. So. That's what we're going to use in our next video, man. When we get down and start learning how to mix, beat, match, and blend, we're going to use Serato. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so stuck on Serato. We're going to use DJ, all right? So, hey, if this video helped y'all in any way, man, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification. Make sure you check out our t-shirt shop. We're selling fresh gear, DJ gear on the shop, you know, so make sure you check that out, man. I want to thank y'all for the support that y'all already has given us thus far. Once again, hey, hit that hit that link up top real quick. That's going to bring you back to the very first episode, episode one, how to hook up your equipment. Then you can come back with the software, kind of look at that and see which one you prefer, which one you like. It was real brief and short, but as you can see, my son picked DJ. So we're going to roll with that. So next next lesson we're going to come up, we're going to start to get into the actual mixing and beat matching. And we're going to do it with, Sarek, with DJ. <laughs> All right? Peace out, y'all. Comment, like, and subscribe. Do not forget. Comment, like, and subscribe. Share the video. Y'all have a blessed one. All right.